This is Esprit DeVoro at Tech Zulu, and later today I get to moderate a panel on how to hire a developer. So I thought I'd bring Scott with me, who's going to be on the panel, to talk about his experiences with his company, different challenges he had in hiring a developer, and how to avoid those challenges um, in the future. Hi, Scott. Can you go ahead and introduce yourself? Tell us a bit about your company. Sure. My name is Scott Lee, and uh, basically I run a company of a bunch of uh, real game nerds who are uh, seeking out to just make mobile games not suck anymore. Uh, we made a platform that allows for developers to create real live action competitive games and bring them to iOS, Windows, and Android in real time. And that's never been done before. And mobile gaming is huge money making industry. It's a huge money making industry. We're targeting a little bit of a different sector. We're targeting the real hardcore gamers, so the guys that grew up on Xbox 360 and have played games like World of Warcraft and Street Fighter 2 and League of Legends. Uh, so this demographic's a little bit smaller. Um, I'm not really making a game for my mom, and I'm not making a game for your mom. I'm making a game for their kids. And when you go about trying to hire a mobile developer um, for gaming, what do you look for? What are the top three things to look for, and then the top three things to avoid? Uh, well. What we're doing is a little bit uh, experimental. So there's, I'm not looking for a lot of experience in a specific language or a specific technology. Uh, what I generally look for are people who are smarter than me. Uh, and I look for people who really have the same passions I have, uh, who can show up to work every day with people that they know are just as smart as them or smarter than them and are making a product that's really the product of their dreams. Um, so I, when I interview developers, I ask very behavioral-based questions. Um, I look for people that... Can you get, share some of those behavioral-based questions with us? A, a simple, typical question is you know, to ask someone um, about a time where they failed uh, and why they failed. Um, you give me the, the circumstances around the team that they worked with when they failed, uh, and see how they see how they work around that failure. I, I think everybody who's worked in development who I want to hire are people who failed multiple multiple times because they're doing really really challenging problems. And um, if someone's going to dance around the subject, it's probably not someone I want to work with. Completely. And what would you say when you were first going out to look for a mobile gaming developer? What was your first concern that you got over? And now it's a piece of cake. Um, well, the concern was to build an A-plus team, and um, I think when you're at the beginning, you have this desperation where you need to start working right away, you need to start building value, and uh, any developer that might have that same skill set that you're looking for looks like a good choice, and it most usually is not the case. Um, I find if you're, you're patient with it and you're very, very aggressive, uh, you can find the team you want, and the team you want are the people that you look at them and you're impressed and you think, wow, that guy is way smarter than me and they, he should not be working at the studio. And for people who have their own companies that are maybe, you know, a one-man shop and they want to build a mobile game, do you have any resources where they could look to find a quality developer? Um, I think that there's a lot of resources around you. Um, I would not post job descriptions and I would not go to the standard places that everyone else goes just because everybody is there. Um, I found most of my developers uh, doing open source projects on a place like GitHub and just looking at the people who've been working around me. You know, um, I Some of the people may not know what GitHub is. Can you explain that? Sure. So GitHub is a really valuable resource even if it even if you don't open source it, it's just a... And what is open source? Just for people in our audience that may not know. Sure. Uh, open source basically means when you compile uh, code or when you make a product, you open it up to the public. And everybody can take a look at it and everybody can basically add to it or improve upon it or take it for their own product. Um, what GitHub does is it open sources your repositories, which is where developers store their code. Uh, and that's where we actually store all of our code, except we keep ours private. Um, you can take a look at a lot of other people's projects, what they're working on. A lot of people are really proud about their side projects they're working on. And it's, it's a real good indicator of how smart someone is, how good they are, and how they fit into your team. Fantastic. Well, thank you so much. How can someone get in touch with you? Um, you can follow me on Twitter at scottlee826, or you know, feel free to just uh, go to our website and send, send an email through the website. Uh, really, anyone who's looking for help, I'm more than happy to. And can you give us your website one more time? Uh, it's www.smiluinc.com. How do you spell that? S-M-I-L-U-I-N-C. Perfect. Thanks for spending your time with TechZulu. We really appreciate it. No problem. It's a pleasure.